Jason, one of the best things about uh, our iOS version here are the many pitch tools that are available to our users. Absolutely. This is a roof that we've drawn here, and I want to show you how we can measure the pitch of the hips and of the gable. Uh, we've got a few icons down here at the bottom. Now, of course, being imagery is great uh, in some circumstances where you maybe want to eyeball the pitch. Uh, there are no specific tools within the Bing imagery. Let's start with this second icon here uh, and show the Apple imagery. Great. Sounds good. When we tap on this, it's going to bring us to the address, of course, and we're in Apple's sort of 3D view. Mm -hmm. We can move around the building. This is also great if you need to look at the roof while you're sketching it if you're not on site, just to be able to see overhangs and different features from more of a bird's eye view. Definitely. And with this one, we can start by, you know what, actually, let's look at it from the backside here. We can put the crosshairs vertically right on the ridge of that front gable, nice. and then magnify by tapping this little button up here in the upper left-hand corner. This brings us way in. Now we've got a new icon up here. It looks like a little, um, compass icon. Tap on that and it pulls in our virtual pitch card. Nice. You just slide this down until it lines up with the pitch value of that roof. So we can tell that that front section is a 612. So you just run it straight up and down the rake lines. Yep, straight up and down the rake lines for those whites, for the white lines there of the pitch card and then make sure your vertical line on your red cur on your red crosshairs mm -hmm. are lined up. Doesn't have to be right on top of the ridge, but you see how it's right in line with that ridge there. Yep, definitely. So let's go ahead and close the card and let's move things around a little bit. Now, we can't use a pitch card on hips, not in the same way. And I want to show you why. So when you zoom in and you open the pitch card here, well, if we were trying to measure that hip, you know, you see it's just, it's not, the hips are not representative of the pitch of the roof. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, from the ridge down the slope, not right. diagonally down the slope. Right. So what we can do here is we can actually start overhead and put our crosshairs such that the horizontal line is right on the ridge. And then I put the crosshair where the vertical line meets the horizontal line let me make sure I've got that straight. Maybe down just a tad bit. You want to have this one dead on. And you see how I have it close to the bottom of the slope? Mm -hmm. Almost to the gutter line, but not quite. Yeah. Then from here, with two fingers on the screen, you can change the angle. But those crosshairs, they just stayed right on the roof, Perfect. right on that spot. When I zoom in, I want to show you the relationship that it created. It created a relationship between right here, where the crosshairs are, and right here where the hips meet the ridge. Wonderful. So when I open up the pitch card now, I'm not going down the hip. I'm going down the slope of the roof. And you see how that 612 runs from where the hips meet the ridge all the way down right through the center of those crosshairs. Perfectly. So I know it's a 612 as well on those hips. So that's how you can measure the slopes of hipped roofs within the Apple Flyover imagery. Wonderful. Now, Apple Flyover imagery, this 3D imagery, it's not available everywhere. Mm -hmm. but in places where you don't have Apple Flyover, you will most likely have Google Street View. Mm -hmm. With limitations, of course, gated communities, um, and maybe really brand new complexes, sure. or extremely rural locations. But from here in Google Street View, in order to get that Street View, you've got to tap on the road. And then it's going to point you right at the house. Nice. So here we have pretty new, I think this is actually updated a little bit, pretty, pretty recent Google Street View imagery here. And we can zoom in on this gable end. And we don't want to move it over to the corner. We don't want it to be distorted. Mm -hmm. We want to have as sort of a centered, undistorted view of the image as possible. Mm -hmm. Then tap on that pitch card icon in the upper left-hand corner again. And this one, we can zoom this one in and out and really move this one around. And Line that up right 612. Those rakes. So Perfect. when everything says 612, we can be very confident that this is a 612. Uh, occasionally, the Google truck that's taking the images might be on a road that's not perfectly level. Mm -hmm. So sometimes the house could actually be a little crooked within Google Street View. You can rotate this card as well. So if the house was a little bit crooked, you could rotate this card in order to line it up right where you need it to be. Perfect. Now that we know the pitch, let's go ahead and dive right into facets.
we can still see that everything's at 0, 12. Mm -hmm. uh, so what should I do from here, Katrina? Uh, from here, let's tap on Pitch and grab that 612. You can either tap on each individual facet. If you do have different pitch values, you can assign different pitch values to different facets or hit this Apply to All button and apply that 612 to all the facets on this roof. Great, and from there we can go ahead and hit the Done button and we've now got pitch on our roof. Wonderful. Mm -hmm.